final lines to painting is learn how to cut in. And that's what we're here to do today is to show you how to cut in. In this scenario, we're cutting in the wall paint into the ceiling. Now this isn't stippled, this is called a stamp job. This is one of the hardest things to do. But if you can learn how to do this, you can pretty much cut in anything. Most of the time when it's stippled, it's built down a little bit. So you have a little more forgiveness when you're cutting in. You don't have to be as deadly as we do right in this. Well, let's just cut into the inside corner. Now I'm using a two and a half inch brush and I don't really use much smaller. I do if I'm doing windows and stuff, I'll use a two inch. Now I've only dipped just the tips of my brush and I don't need to cake it too much. I don't need a lot of paint. And to do the inside corner, usually what I do is I just apply a little bit, you know, half an inch to an inch below because I don't want an excess amount just bubbling all over the place. Then I'll actually start to do my cut in. I'll just work the tip of my brush up to that inside corner. That's the hardest thing to do. Now on your first coat, you can just keep it down a little bit if you want, and you can just cut in a little bit higher on your second to really tweak it and get it where you want it. And I'm just gonna put pressure on, flare it out a bit, and then just try to use that tip of the brush. I don't want to go too high, it's better to stay low. And then when you're coming off, you want to kind of go downhill. And you don't want to go too fast, because sometimes when you go fast, you push too hard and it flares the brushes out and it'll hit the ceiling. But now I just want to feather it out, that's my other rule. Just make sure that you're always blending your paint. I'm just going to blend this down. Blend it once more. Be careful. Like I said, if you go too fast, it'll flare up and hit that. So now what I can do is a good way to do it is go this way, whatever you're comfortable with, and just blend into the stuff that's starting to dry. And like, and that's another one of my rules is just keep it flowing. Don't overwork it. Don't let it get too dry. So you want to just keep going. It's easier to blend into this than to try to blend it going this way. So I'll just go like this, apply the paint, Stay down a little bit, and then I want to just use the edge of the brush like so. And I'm just down about a millimeter. And then just lightly use the side of the brush, feather it out. The trick is, is when you're cutting in, you don't want to cut in like this. It's it's inaccurate and you don't have as much paint on the brush. If you can try to keep it sideways like this, I don't keep it perfectly sideways. I tilt it down a little bit like so, and maybe use half of the brush as my guide. But like, I'll just apply it, get a little bit on, make sure it's not bubbling off the tip. Go like so. And right there I was touching, but I didn't go too high. It was perfect. And then I just blend it out so that there's no line here. It just blends nice into the wall. That's how you do it. You can see it's not perfect yet, but I don't want to go too high. We'll wait for the second coat to correct any imperfections. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.